Hello world, this is Random Fix and today I'm going to show you how you can disconnect your RV from shore power and run it off an inverter just like this through any receptacle in the RV and this is really easy and if you're new to RVing maybe you're looking for a solution so you're not having to run power extension cords everywhere this is going to make it super super simple and just as a word of caution if you don't really know what you're doing here and uh, it's better to ask questions ahead of time than to go ahead and start plugging in components so I'm going to show you guys how I did this setup really quick because what I'm doing here is I'm running an inverter just off a battery here and this could be the battery off your coach and once this is all rigged up on here what I do is I took the power and I'm putting it through a surge protector and with the surge protector once it's on I then go through one of these remote switches which is nice and convenient because it comes with a remote like this which allows you to toggle the power on and off and on the other end of that actual extension cord I have a dead man's plug you can buy these for about three dollars and you can tell that it's on when it has that green glow and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to hook this into the RV now. We're going to go ahead and connect this into any outlet. Okay, that's plugged in now. Alright, with this plugged in, you can see I have no power here on the TV. And once I hit on, you can see the plug turned on, the refrigerator turned on, and also the TV has power TV is on now the only thing that I'm actually not able to run using that in particular inverter is going to be the AC and also one of those Keurig coffee machines those things really heat up the microwave works So microwave works, refrigerator works, um, you could also leave it on propane if you want to, but I use uh, electricity sometimes when I'm driving, it does, uh, does kind of help with uh, times when I have very little propane left, so that's definitely a cool little feature, and if you like, you could even use your power panel here, and turn off certain components if you don't want them getting power. So you could be very selective on what is and is not going to get power for your, uh, from your inverter. So that's definitely going to help you guys out a little bit. And let me show you guys this again. I'm going to go ahead and hit off right here. And as we hit off, TV is going to turn off. Plug's going to turn off. And get hit on again. And you'll hear everything cycle back on. There we go, that's back on. And inverter's working. And we're putting out about 70 watts of power currently. And just as designed, when we turn this off, you can see that the power output definitely drops to zero. So really cool unit. If you guys want to check these out, I'm going to have links to these below as well as to anything else that I use in the video. And the nice thing with it is the remote that it comes with too. This is like $15. And once I actually hook it in, I've used it a couple of times. I just take it off when I'm taking it down to the service department just so I don't have anybody sit here and potentially say I'm going to be voiding my warranty. So this remote definitely works. 15 bucks. So this setup over here was very very inexpensive and main thing is that it works so I'm gonna turn this back on and as you guys can see I'll put a zero it's on and I am disconnected from shore power so that's the number one thing you want to make sure you do and the only flaw in doing it this way is if you accidentally forget to 
disconnect this guy or you're plugged in this might cause you some problems and the reason I did it this particular way when I come off the inverter is to go through a surge protector I have one safety source in here then I have a second uh, one which is going to be the remote because even if I'm plugged in I still have to manually turn on the remote and also since the dead man's plug has a light it's another visual indicator that hey that I'm plugged into grid power I should maybe not use this right now so um, if you guys have any comments or suggestions on how I can improve it and if the video helps you guys out please let me know by liking and uh, commenting below and if you guys are new to the channel hit the subscribe button and smash on that notification bell so anytime I post videos that are aimed to help you save time and money that you'll be notified have a fantastic day and thanks again hit the subscribe button and I really appreciate your continued support